It's a beautiful uh, April day and uh, I'm at the entrance to uh, Stafford Victoria Park on uh, Mill Bank. So this is effectively the main entrance to Victoria Park. We're going to be having a look at some of the things that are going to change. First thing is going to change is the main gate. They're going to make this uh, a lot bigger and uh, more fitting for the main entrance. So uh, it should be uh, should be a lot better. So that's the first thing. So then we go to the park and uh, first changes are going to be to the uh, utilitarian uh, entrance here. So all of these bits here, this is all going to change and be a lot more open and welcoming to guests. So uh, as, soon as, as soon as people are walking in, you know, this is what they see, so uh, I think this is going to be a change for the better. So uh, onwards to uh, another another feature which has been here ever since I was a kid, uh, which is the Avery. Uh, it's looking really tatty, it has to be said, and uh, I don't think... Uh, I don't think many people are going to miss it. So I'm just going to do a, a little circuit of it now. You can see how, uh, how got it is. This is going to be demolished and apparently uh, they are going to be putting in uh, a new one, but I think that's going to be a later date, kind of like uh, uh, phase two, if you like, of the, uh, the uh, most of the birds have gone now. There's a golden pheasant that's still here. It's going to be like phase two of the refurbishment, uh, if you like. So some copper seals are still here. But I've got to be honest, the whole thing looks very old-fashioned, and uh, I don't think uh, I don't think many people are going to miss it. I think this is going to be refurbished as well, rather than uh, got rid of. And uh, the greenhouse is here. Uh, these are going to all be hidden away. Again, utility spots. So uh, this is the hot house. Uh, surprise, surprise. As usual, it's closed. Yeah, that's that's pretty normal. I've only been in there a couple of times. Uh, all the green area. This is all going to stay. Looking very nice, bowling green. This is the coffee stand, uh, tea area. So this is going. So this is a big bone of contention. Uh, a lot of people, you know, describe this as well loved uh, uh, thing. A lot of other people think like it's a bit of a 60s monstrosity, but you know, make your own decision. Yep, so that's going, and this area over here, this is all going to get redeveloped, and uh, this is going to be like a waterfront cafe. So, uh, so that's going to be like all weather facility for people visiting the park in the winter. That's going to be nice, I think. So, yeah. Okay, we'll just uh, zip over to the bandstand area and check that out. Coronation Bridge, very nice. It's a nice feature. It needs a bit of a tidy up though. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit grossy, but not too bad. Hopefully they'll do that. And this is the bandstand area here, and uh, this is going to be converted into like an amphitheatre. So uh, bands can play it properly. I mean, to be fair, you know, even when uh, even when they have like uh, umpire bands here, they very rarely go in the actual bandstand because it's not very practical. And the reason for that is because it's uh, it's actually been raised up, as you can see there. That concrete plinth that's an, a later addition. Uh, I don't know why, and the whole thing is like really tatty. So. Although a lot of people, again, are, are, are a bit fussed about this, 
uh, I think you know when they see it all all done I'm sure they'll uh, I'm sure they'll uh, they'll appreciate it and I think uh, I think this is going to be a fantastic space for uh, entertainment so that when they have queue in the park uh, and events like that it'll be really good so yeah uh, I'm hoping it'll be a success there so uh, I'm sure it will be Onto the Mottum Shelter now, uh, which is another uh, much loved feature of the park. Uh, this needs quite a lot of work to it. Uh, they're not going to replace it, they're going to refurbish it, repair it, and uh, when you see it, you'll see why. It's, uh, it's seen better days. It's seen a lot better days. Uh, you know, bits missing, it's really tatty. Uh, generally in need of a lot of tender loving care, as you can see. But uh, people like it, so I'm kind of pleased that they're gonna, uh, they're gonna keep it. So it should, be, uh, it should be nice when it's finished. Okay, the last feature uh, which is going to be uh, completely redone is the War Memorial which uh, currently looks like this so as you can see it's uh, it's not open to the park now what they're going to do they're going to open all of this area up here to the park. So uh, when we have the uh, commemorations on the 11th, uh, all the public can stand in this area, which I think will be fantastic. Because currently, they do have a ceremony here. Uh, but what people have to do is stand on the pavement which is uh, which is not obviously not ideal. So uh, as you can see there. So uh, I think that'll be a massive improvement. I, I really like that idea. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be really really good. Uh, people will be able to pay their respects properly in one place. So yeah, it would be nice, it would be really good. And then you've got the utility gate here, they're keeping that. This is for uh, access for trucks and that when they do events. So uh, that's about it really. I think, uh, I think most of these improvements are gonna be, uh, are gonna be good. Uh, and uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a big, uh, a big asset I think to, uh, to the sound. Because the park is anyway, I mean it's a fabulous park. And uh, it'll be good to uh, to see it modernised and, uh, and built into the 21st century. So uh, please leave your comments below if you've got any. Cheers.